So if you've seen my latest video, you might have seen that I actually got quite lucky. This time I didn't get early, but I did get a double five star, which is maybe even better than early in some ways i'm not sure in this video i am obviously gonna be leveling her up and of course this is like right after i got my Rhino shogun because i'm so excited to actually start leveling her and to actually build her and check how much damage she does i'm just gonna get straight into it okay and now i can ascend her i should be able to ascend her to level 90. i've been doing a lot of leyline blossoms like the last few weeks so I actually should be having enough Mora to actually get her to level 90 and her talents up to like, I guess a level that I would like to have them be at. That's level 40, let's ascend her again. Another ascension. I mean, we know how this goes already, right? Because I've done this so many times already. Okay, now I got a few wishes here. I'm not gonna use those this time because there has been rumors that the standard banner is going to be changed uh, in one of the coming updates. So I kind of want to look out for that and just not use those wishes, wishes right now. Okay, so now we got that. And I actually want to check out two weapons today. Of course, this is like the one I guess most free-to-play people would use on her. But I also got this one when I wished for Elegy for the end and it, this actually seemed kind of good for her, her as well. It sounds kind of good, like I'm not sure if it's really a lot that it gives of a bonus so I'm definitely gonna check it out first. But if you go and look at my other characters, I think on most of them I got at least more than 100%. Oh Jesus, that's a lot, I didn't even know. Okay, Bennett. And she has... 141 and she probably also more than yeah so my all my characters have more than 100 she actually doesn't have a lot so my point is all my characters have above 100 percent uh energy recharge so i i think this weapon could work but of course i'm first gonna try it out with this one and then if we go to sets like yeah i do have a set but like I don't know. You know, like I'm using it on Xing Cho, but like the set I'm using on Xing Cho is here already not good because like Red Shogun does not need Hydro damage bonus. So there it goes wrong already. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely gonna look for a few better pieces. I can't actually see how much Mora I have right now, but I should be having enough to actually level up a few pieces as well. Oh, we got an electro damage one here and it actually seems quite decent so let me see if it levels up the crit rate more because that would definitely be handy i would like some crit rate please well no hp i mean fine now should i mean i mean yeah i guess it kind of works but i still would like a little bit more crit damage okay so i'm just gonna take this one i think then well, let's look at the attributes attributes what okay i think it's fine the energy recharge went down a little bit but i don't think that's too big of a problem where does she get the electro damage bonus from i didn't give her electro damage bonus right wait what is that like is that this that is this that's a hell of a lot like jesus oh i mean okay i'm not complaining like that's fine by me Okay, so now I think it's time to actually go and start leveling talents here. So let's start with that. I want to get all talents at least to level 7, I think. Well, not all of them, because I'm not leveling the basic attacks. But I, I also do want to see how much of a difference this constellation makes. I'm just gonna activate it later on, uh, after trying her out for... I guess what she is now. So I'm just thinking like what I should go and fight now. Okay, so let's try this. I think I kind of got a rotation in my head that I feel like could work. But of course I would need Rider Shogun's burst for that, which I don't have. Okay, now I got her burst. That is good. Okay, then I'll do my rotation that I had in my head. So that's this, then her burst. Then his first. And now she's gonna go and crawl. But well, that didn't work, did it now? Because now 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 I didn't even do Rider Shogun's burst. 
Well, thanks for nothing, senora. I mean, I guess she got more HP in her, like, second form, right? So, we'll try again, I guess. Also, I need to warm myself up. Okay, so I can try again now. I definitely hope she doesn't move or anything this time. Okay, yeah, Miko's burst. Shami's burst. Where the Shogun's burst? Please crit. 43,000, okay. You know, that's actually really not disappointing. Okay, so her burst didn't crit and it did 43,000 damage. That's a lot, definitely for not critting. You know, I feel like trying out this rotation on the cryo hypostasis. No, that's not a hypostasis. What am I saying? The rig is fine. I'm sorry for being stupid, guys. Right here. This bitch already down. I mean, okay. I kind of don't have the bursts yet, though. Like, okay, that's enough. I guess. A sight to behold. Right here. Oh. Well, anyway, that's not gonna work. Because my Yaimiko is too strong. Tokens. I mean, I don't have Bennett's or Yaimiko's burst right now, so I want to wait until I have those as well. Okay, let's try to do it now. I don't know if I have her tokens up. Yeah, I didn't, so yay. First. Other burst. Ooh, that was an 80,000 that I saw right there. So it's the next day now, and I have just tried to get used a bit more to Red and Shogun, as you could see just now. Now, I got some condensed resin here, and I want to use this on this domain for some more Emblem of Severed Fate pieces, in the hope that they actually are better than the ones that I have right now. Because my usual crit damage to crit rate ratio is 50 to 100 at least. So I got a 50 to 100 ratio, and yeah, this is almost 60, but like, let's just not look into those details. So he's got 50 to 100, she has got 50, 60, okay, she, she's got a little higher, but like, she also has one of my best artifact pieces that I could ever have in this game. Okay, no, that's not true. One of the best artifact pieces that I have right now. Yamiko also has 60, apparently, and almost 120. My point is, I would like to have some more crit damage right here. And of course, I always accept more crit rate, but like, I just want to get them up a little more. And I'm hoping that I'm able to if I get some more Emblem of Savored Fate pieces. Okay, so I've looked at the artifacts that I got from those uh, six runs actually that I did. And, and I think this one is... Um, is an artifact that I actually already had, but I guess I just didn't see it or something. So I definitely want to see what this can give me because it already has a f quite a high crit damage and also quite a high crit rate. So this has potential. Oh, that's a bad start. No, uh, no defend. I mean, attack would, would be fine as well, I guess, but like, I'm doing it for the crit damage and the crit rate. That's what I need. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking... Thank you. Thank you. I like it. I mean, this already is quite a good flower, to be honest. Like, if it could now just one time level up crit damage, this would be, I think, one of my best flowers that I have, possibly. Just because of how high it started. Oh, damn. Okay. Thanks. And now crit damage, like that would be the most amazing thing ever. That, that Then it would surely be my best flower ever. Well, not ever, but like that I have now. Please. I mean, it's definitely, a, that's not the one. It's definitely a good one, like that's for sure. Okay, the one she has has much higher crit rate, crit damage, sorry, and lower crit rate. Okay, this is definitely like a good start. If I get this lucky with other artifacts as well, I'm glad. So I've looked in the ones that also had potential, uh, which this is one of them. So I just hope it gives me crit damage as a fourth stat. Nope. Okay, next one. This has an even higher crit damage. Oh Jesus, I didn't even know that it could be this high. Uh, okay. Okay, we got one more chance for the flowers. Holy Jesus. Wait, how did that happen? Like, how did it 
take that up so much. I'm confused, but uh, I guess it isn't that bad of an artifact. May may maybe. I don't think I would ever really use that though. Well, anyway, I don't know how that happened, but uh, it doesn't have crit damage and crit rate. It only has crit rate, so. Okay, so now my plan is to just check out her damage and everything that kind of has to do with that. And I want to start with this constellation, which isn't really a damage bonus. I mean, at least not like a straight one. Like, okay, you can maybe do her burst more often, but for the rest, I mean, it doesn't really boost the actual damage. So I want to see how much of a difference this makes in how how fast you can get your resolve. Of course I'm gonna check that first with the... Because this gives an extra 80% increased resolve gain for electro characters. Yeah, and 20% more for other elements. So I want to check both of those uh, scenarios, I guess. So I'm just gonna go over to this mechanical array, I guess to use my bursts on. I feel like this really is actually a good boss to check. Like, I don't know why I never thought of that before. It's kind of like easier than all the other things that I've been trying. Okay, so I'm just gonna see how much resolve I gain from an electro character. The circle isn't even there. Oh, now I got a circle. Okay, let's use Yamiko's right now, burst. Right right there right now. I'm there always we go. Watching. And my guy, I'm trying to look. Okay, so I got into like the second ball, I guess. I don't really know what that is, but like... Okay, so that, that is noted. Let's now teleport back again and do it with another character, I guess. Oh no, but I need to lose my circle for that, right? That it was active for 25 seconds. So I guess I can wait for that. So I guess to get rid of this circle, because I think the 25 second cooldown is the actual eye you get on the top of the circle which as you can see has already left. So I only see one option. I think this is the only thing I can actually do to get rid of the circle. And that is just get rid of Raiden Shogun. Come on, attack me. There we go, okay. Okay, so now that we have returned, Raiden Shogun is back alive now. We can try again, but just not with an Electro Burst, which I don't think makes a difference right now. So, But I just want to check that out really quickly. And again, there is no circle. My guy, why are you doing this thing? I mean, is it really the mechanical arrays fault? Is there a circle now? Do I have to? Oh, I have to with that. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, let's do a burst. Will have order. Yes. Oh, it actually does make a pretty big difference. Oh no, but wait. I think I know why. Yaimiko's burst hits more often, and as you can see, the circle actually does... Oh, Jesus, I'm dying. Okay, so as you can see, the circle does actually... Or the resolve actually does go up when you do attacks. So I think that has something to do with it as well. Yeah, that's gonna make it a little difficult to actually like see how much of a difference it makes, right? I need to find something on this. Um, another character with a burst, an electro character with a burst that hits only once. That is what I need, I think. This is actually more difficult than I thought. Maybe Beto? I mean, I guess that could work. You know, let me try it. I'll try it, okay? Just... She gotta die again now because like stuff. She's gonna fall into the water and she's not gonna die. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I mean, as you can see, I haven't really built my Beto, so it's not like she's gonna do any damage. But I'm just looking at it for how much resolve it gives. Um, Raiden Shogun's whatever that's so called. Actually, I have no idea. Her circle. I just call it this one. Okay, so we've got a circle here. Let's do the burst. Eyes on me. Okay. So, oh, so I guess it actually does get more than an actual. Wait, how did she die? So I guess it actually does get more resolve for the character, even if you don't have C1. So that's a good thing to know, I suppose. Uh, I didn't know that yet. Maybe it is somewhere in the description of her talents, but I really just didn't notice it then. Well, no, I don't really see it anywhere in here. I mean, I guess I, I'll just accept the fact that an electro elemental burst actually gives two times as much resolve as a normal or another elemental burst does, as Zhongli's or I guess Ganyu's as well. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna activate this constellation, which basically gives 80% extra resolve when you use an Electro Elemental Burst and 20% extra resolve when you do an Elemental Burst for, from another character with another element than Electro. So with Go. that actual constellation activated, I guess I'll kill Raiden Shogun again. So I actually don't have Beidou's Burst, so I'll just do it with Jean Lee's Burst right now and see how much of a difference that 20% makes there is the circle okay let's use some of these first and we got oh actually quite a bit more i would say so now let's see how much more the electro burst gives let me just leave here so I can actually look at it. So it is like one more part of the circle more and it goes a little bit further than that. Which I guess does make sense that it's 80%. It does make quite a difference. With this I can actually get it full with like two bursts I think. Well if I did those two bursts with characters from another element like I think I would need to do a third one to actually get it full but like it's still a pretty big difference so i think this is obviously a very handy constellation it's not the best or anything um i think her c2 is the best one so there's one last thing that i do want to check out and that is how much the resolve actually buffs her damage so right now her circle is full is full and i want to know how much that buffs of course her burst damage so if the circle isn't full i want to see how much her burst does and if the circle is full i also want to see how much it does so of course i kind of gotta wait until her circle disappears which i know it does eventually but the killing is just a bit faster okay so i just realized that killing her doesn't only like get rid of that circle but also of her burst so that didn't really go well because now i got to have her burst back and then the circle appears again i guess i'm i'm just gonna have to wait until the circle disappears okay so let's try out her burst without any resolve build Inazuma shines eternal. Okay, and now I'll do her first. Oh. The mortal plane. Never mind. I won't. Okay. Um, let's try that again. So as you can see, there's almost no resolve. So I'm gonna try and do her first now. Okay. I don't think that actually crit. Which is weird, because it should definitely crit, but like, I have no idea why it doesn't. Let's try one more time. 30,000, okay. So I'm gonna say that that is what she does when she finally crits. So now I'll see how much Raiden's Burst does with full resolve, of course. There we go. With full resolve, 51,000. Oh, and then she died, okay. Um, I'm gonna try that again just to see if that really is what she does most often, I guess. So I'm just gonna do some skills and stuff. And then see how much it does. 51,000. Okay. I guess with full resolve, her burst does like 10,000 more, which is a lot, of course. I have seen her burst do more, but that is probably like all about elemental reactions and stuff like that. I think I do kind of want to do the burst that like does the most damage one time with like elemental reactions and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and do that with Benethi's attack boost and all. Okay, so of course I've put my Benethi in the team for his burst, uh, which he buffs a lot of the damage then of course. And also Lisa has this very handy passive talent where she decreases opponent's defense when they get hit by her burst. So I'm planning on trying to use that too. So I'm just gonna try and do her burst with this team and see how much damage it does then. Teamwork is driven. Let's spark him. I will have order. There you go. And then oh, and sugar goes first. Huh. Was that a 96,000 that I just saw? That is nice. I actually thought it wasn't going to be that high, but I mean, it turns out it is. Now, of course, there is still a lot of progress to make in building Raida Shogun, definitely her artifacts. I can still level up some talents, which I'm definitely gonna be doing. And there are probably some things that I don't know about her, or at least not well, that I will get to know in the coming few months. And with that said, I am going to leave this video right here, and if there is anything you would like to mention in the comments, feel free to do that, and I hope I see you in the next one.